Sean, Katie, Katie, Sean, you've only ever seen Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Do you remember what happened? Um, they were experimenting on apes. Uh huh. He was trying to um. Was he? Tr- his dad was sick. Dementia. Yeah, and he was trying to find a cure, and he thought it could be in apes. Well, no, he was trying to come up with a cure. Yeah, the and apes, apes were being is... tested on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Um, and it, isn't it the baby mm-hmm. that was born with like this? stuff, experimental stuff in its veins and that. It became really smart. Mm-hmm. Um, and he ended up starting an uprising of the apes. Mm. And they went to live in a forest. A rise. Yes. Mm. And he spoke. He did he did Because he, he learned. Do you know what his name is? He's got a really cool name. Caesar? Caesar, Caesar yeah. yeah. Uh, it's so, been a while since I watched it, but... Yeah. So after that came... Um, how many, of, how many has there been? Three. After that, or three including the first one? Three including the first one. Right, okay. There's obviously a whole, you know, backlog of Planet of the Apes films that Charlton has. I don't even think I've seen the originals. You won't have. There's a very famous scene in it, in one of them, that's parodied okay. to this day. Then they did a really bad one with Mark Wahlberg. I feel, I feel like that's what I was thinking of with Mark yeah. Wahlberg. That one's re. It's not good. There's a good. There's a good performance in it, but the rest of the film isn't good. And then it ends on the most ridiculously convoluted and ridiculous plot twist that the film just did not need. Was he actually an ape? No. <laughs> no. No. Um, but then these happen. to do that as plot twist. He's yeah. actually related to them in some way. Yeah, but this. These ones, and I don't care what anyone says, the, the Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and War of the Planet of the Apes are one of the best trilogies mm-hmm. in the world. I have to watch it. They okay. are really, really good. They're a bit long. Right. Especially the second one. The second one's really long. Okay. But they're all really good. Andy Serkis is involved in these, Andy isn't Serkis he? is Caesar. He's Okay. Yeah. So he's like obviously everything to do with motion capture and stuff, isn't mm-hmm. he? So I assumed he would be. Yeah. Um, so yeah. This is the new one. I have uh, Matt Reeves did them. Oh, good for him. Um, so this is the new one. I want to see where this is before I tell you anything from the other ones. I'll try and not spoil the other ones. Okay. I mean, you can guess what they're about because the second one's called Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and the third one's called The War for the Planet of the Apes. Apes. There's apes. Fighting. Oh, oh, Jay, you think? You think there's apes in them? Um, but yeah, let's watch. See what we can uncover. Freya Allen. Are you familiar with the concept of evolution? Is that Caesar? No. In their time, humans were capable of many great things. They could fly like eagles fly. They could speak across oceans. But now it is our time. And it is my kingdom. We will learn. Is that Caesar? No. Apes will learn. I will learn. I got the same kind of thing. <laughs> It looks like him though, from what I remember. Did he say we'll conquer them? Mm. Oh, it's close as well. Legend what? says ape and human live side by side. Impossible as that may seem. Why do they hunt her? She's smarter than most. The elders. Did not tell us everything about this world. Bend for your king. Apes hunt humans. Oh god. That is wrong. She's got very blue eyes. Ooh. 
Together, strong. Yep, together, strong. So we didn't see Caesar. Why, no, why we did, did not. not see Caesar? I can't. Want, he looked like Caesar. This is a lot of years in the future, I think. So Caesar's dead. There's every chance that Caesar's dead. Ugh. If he's not dead, he might just be older. But I'm guessing that's Caesar's son. Oh, so that's why I look like him. That's why I look okay, like him. Okay. So I kept, I kept on thinking that he was Caesar. So it, was, it does look exactly. Then why like isn't him. Why isn't he the leader? Caesar should be the Caesar was the leader. I don't know. Why? He. It might just be. Oh, this is gonna be so hard tiptoeing around the other films. They don't necessarily. They follow. They follow Caesar in the second one because he's the one that's led them to freedom. Right. But, um, you know, it almost seems like it's strength that they go off. Mm. When you see them later on uh, in this one, there's a bit where is he walking along? They're all sort of putting their hands out for him. Mm. That's them asking for like sort of. Approval. That's what Caesar would do. So they would, they would put their hands out for Caesar, and he would let them know that they were okay. Um, but he doesn't do that. He's nasty. Doesn't. I don't know. It's I don't. Evil. I'm not Horrible. sure. Because there's quite a lot of characters that you don't see in this one that were in the in the original three. James Franco never came back in, did he? No. You saw a video of him. Do you recognise that? Do you recognise what? That. Is that the logo from there? Is it? What is it? That. Oh, that's is that the um. I don't know. What is it? That was Caesar's window. Ah, uh, sure it was. I thought that, but that was that was. I thought that was that's what they used to sort of mark where Caesar is. So Caesar's there. But, I don't know. I want like to I say, say Caesar. I say there's a there's a lot. There's quite a few characters actually that aren't in it. Maurice isn't in it. Maurice. But, He's the sort of the big orangutan that. Uh, was that not Maurice that we, the, bit, the orangutan we saw? I don't think so. No, Maurice was. I don't. I, I say orangutan. I don't know if he is an, an orangutan because I'm not. You know, I'm not David Amber. I don't know these things. Okay. Um, the orange one. The orange one. I don't think. The one so. that he was friends with in the first one. I don't think so because he got really big. Oh. Like really, really big. Oh. Where the heck is he? Him? Yeah. No, that's not Maurice. Oh. Is but, that Maurice's son? Oh, look. He's wearing a necklace with Caesar's logo on it. Maurice's son. Is this like the new uprising? Are they going to oppose the, the leader? Because so, it seems like that's what they're going down. Here's the thing, right? I will tell you a bit about the really crap Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Starring Mark Wahlberg. Okay. Because I'm not going to make you watch that. Okay. Because it was really terrible. Okay. So in that one, they're in space. They arrive on a planet that they think's Earth. It's not Earth. It's well, it is Earth, but it's Earth ruled by apes. Apes are the dominant species. Uh, humans are just slaves. Uh -huh. So they come. They try to, uh, you know, there's a the main bad guy. I can't remember if he was called Caesar. I don't think he was called Caesar. Um, they basically have a bit of a scrap. They fight. Blah blah. blah generic action film. Mark Wahlberg escapes. Uh, gets back to Earth. Arrives and the David Attenborough, David Attenborough, the David, the <laughs> what's his name? David Attenborough. Lincoln, the Lincoln statue, the one where he sat down. That's not there anymore. It's a statue of the ape that he was fighting. Mm. How? Exactly. Um, <laughs> but I, th I, I can't remember in the originals if I think that was a, a similar story that um, the apes were in charge of the Earth now. Right. Um, so I think that that's what it's going down the line of. That it's showing us the apes taking over the world. Okay. Because... It seems like the people, are they kind of in hiding? The people of the Sort of, yeah. In Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, there's not very many people left. That's the second one? Yeah. Okay. And even less so in the third one. Okay. And it, it the point of the films is to show you... the literally the rise of the of the, of the apes mm -hmm. because they, they start to get technology you know they it's evolution it shows, it shows you their evolution as they get smarter and smarter and smarter they learn to communicate a lot better because of Caesar Caesar's teaching them and he teaches Maurice Maurice teaches everyone else 
teaches them to speak, you know, things like that. And it's it just feels like this is probably the next step in that uh, this person, whoever it is, I don't know who it is, but if that is Caesar's son. It, I mean, it looks like I, I actually thought that was Caesar because it looks like it, yeah. the first one. And, if, yeah. if that is Caesar's son, then uh, it looks like he's just an ordinary ape, and this guy is the man. I don't. That's the not king. the same guy, though, is it? The one that had the crown on. I think so. He's obviously going to have to continue his father's. Him. Yeah, it is him. Oh, is it? He's obviously going to have to oppose him and. Yeah. Continuing his father's. I always. Prince. I always really liked the. Oh. The. Three, because you know how they always say that a film should never just be a carbon copy of the one that came before it. Mm. it should change something really small. The, those film, those films do do that. So it rises, it rises is essentially an origin story. The second one is division within the ape, within their sort of little community, with humans just kind of barely even a part of it really. Right. And then war is obviously ape human. Do the humans start fighting back? Okay. Not justifiably, because Caesar's whole thing is, you have the city, mm -hmm. we'll have the wood, yeah. and we'll stay here. Okay. Caesar does want to coexist with them. He doesn't want to kill so we, them. So we do empathise with the apes. Yeah. Because that's what I was going to say. Because if it, it, it almost makes it seem like we don't. Why should we like the apes? But in this one, it seems like he's just an overlord that just doesn't like humans. Mm -hmm. And if that is Caesar's son, he's going to be like no bad. Yeah. My dad liked the humans. It makes you... Obviously, Caesar's in the original three. Uh, if Caesar isn't in these, we don't know that he isn't, but, you know, if he isn't in them. Um, the best thing about Caesar was that, even though he was an ape, he was completely identified. Like, you could empathise with Caesar. Mm. So I guess he knows that humans are bad when they're together, mm -hmm. but individual humans aren't. Yeah. And he's kind of like... That's why he liked James Franco. He liked James Franco's dad. Um, there's characters, there's humans that he meets along the way that he likes. Freya Allen, her character, I think, if it's the character I'm thinking of that's in War of the Planet Apes, he does like her. Um, is she in... I think so. I'm not sure how old she's supposed to be here, but I don't know. Um, it says she's smart, though, is she like a scientist? Descended off from one... We don't know how I don't how think far she's descended from a scientist. I think she has something similar to Caesar, but in a human. There is an explanation, and I'm, I will be completely honest with you, I'm half lying to you. I think you should watch these films. Or maybe we react to these films. That Be didn't help me at all. Yeah. <laughs> you're, just, you're telling me things, but you're half the lying people, to The us. people watching this video know what I'm telling you is true and what isn't true. Okay. Um, to be honest, I don't know why I didn't see this, this sec the second and the third one. Thing is, but I just remember. Did we watch the first one in the cinema? No. When did, did, did you just show me the first one? Because I remember watching the first one with like Dad. Definitely Dad was there. Maybe Dad made you watch it. Dad likes, Dad likes the old Planet of the Apes yeah. films. Didn't like the Mark Wahlberg one because no one liked the Mark okay. Wahlberg one. But um, so I remember watching the first one and thinking, no, that was... My favourite, oddly enough, and people might think this is controversial, my favourite one's the second one. Okay. Any particular reason or can you not tell me? The second one's the longest. It is the longest, but I think it shows you Caesar at his best. That's mm -hmm. when apes together strong really sort of means something. Right. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. It really, in my opinion, I'm really, I'm actually more excited for this film than I am for the two of the trailers that we watched, because to me that hasn't been a bad since they've remade them. Mm. That hasn't been a bad one. It's just weird because I feel like there's not really much like around them, if that makes sense. They aren't, really, yeah. aren't really talked about much, but it's its own franchise, and it's it's almost like not plodding, but it's they are just kind of like you know we'll make this one, mm -hmm. and I think they have got a very core audience that really likes them. But it feels like it must just be like they have the audience, and that's just it. Because mm. like I say, I don't really see much or hear much about it. Really good films, I I think. Call me crazy. I think Rise of the Planet Earths is James Franco was best role. I think that was him at his best. I also think the guy that's in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, whose name I can't think of, darn it, he was new John Connor in the really bad Terminator film. 
new John Connor or the I know who you're talking about yeah I the guy who was the t- who turned Connor. out he was the Terminator um, I, him. I don't know um, but also uh, Gary Oldman's in it hmm. and he's really good and also Woody Harrelson is in the War of the Planet yeah, really good also really good every, actually now that I'm t- I don't know why I'm just naming it every support and actor that's in it is really good it feels like everyone brings their A game. Mm-hmm. Like John Lithgow brings his A game, playing the dad who's got dementia. It's mm-hmm. like he's he's really good, and I would advise anyone who hasn't seen these films to go and watch these films because they're awesome. I wonder how difficult it would be to act in motion capture, because mm-hmm. I mean, have you ever seen him doing his Andy Serkis doing his thing, I've pretending seen him, to be an ape? No, I've seen him in interviews where he kind of like shows them how they do it and like. Because he's got stuff. like he's got like a, a form for different types of, of apes. apes. So like for for Caesar, he's got a type. Then for like the big, uh, greyback, the greyback Silver- ones, greyback, silverback, whatever. Silverback. Yeah. Um, he's got a different way of, of walking and say, I appreciate that someone puts that much effort into it. Mm. So is he kind of just does he like oversee the motion capture as well yeah. as playing Caesar? Yeah. To I- kind of make sure that it's it's good. Yeah. The thing is, how do you play an ape on a horse? Just like you play a normal person on a horse. <laughs> I know, but they've got to act like an ape, but then they're also on a horse. They aren't really on a horse, are they? I don't know. They might be. That is that the place where he was held at the f- in the first one? I can't where he got sent to that centre with all the other rapes. Oh, it might be. Is it? Oh, maybe Oh, not. wait, yeah. Brian Cox and... Um, what's he called? Oh, what's he called? I don't know. Oh, I've got to do what I'm in. Draco Malfoy, Tom Felton. Mm. He's in it. He says the famous line. Do you know what the famous line is? Get your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape. Mm. He says that. I thought you said you'd seen that film. Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember word for word what the characters say. That's when. Um, oh, look. Evil. He does look very menacing. Evil This might be the guy. That was the bad guy in the Mark Wahlberg film. I hope he isn't. But might should be doing him better. Nah, I wouldn't mind that. That's you know, because honestly, the, the what the, if Mark Wahlberg shows up in this? I'd be depressed. <laughs> He's already you know, people blame him for the death of Transformers, so just don't do it to mm. Planet of the Apes. Also for Uncharted. That's terrifying. There's actually quite a lot of really scary bits in. But it's the scale. Uh, it's the skill that makes it so awesome. But can you imagine being a human running from He's a wrong. a big silverback gorilla? There's tons of them as well. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. What is it that they're living in? Is that a boat? Looks like it, doesn't it? The rain. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. It looks like there's not very many humans left. Mm. Like, in terms of... The humans can't really fight anymore. Like, we can't fight back. We're useless at this point. It's all James Franco's fault. Yeah! It's gonna be awesome. I'm excited. Are you excited? You're gonna have to watch the other ones. I know. I feel like I don't really know what's going on. Yeah. I've lied to you sometimes, and I've told the truth sometimes. That doesn't help me. Yeah. But, if we do react to those films, it'd be all the better for me having lied to you. Because the reactions will be better. Mm. The people watching know that I've lied to you. Or at least I hope they know that I'm lying to you, and not that I don't know. I have seen them. You've lied to me. Mm -hmm. Was the Mark Wahlberg one actually really good? (laughs) No. 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 So that, was, that was the truth. Is that the only that truth one was that you the told truth. Me? All the rest was lies. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe we react to these films. I actually think, I think you would cry quite oh, a lot. Don't of these tell films. me that. I can't do crying at apes. I think Animals get me. There's moments in these films that'll have you crying. They'll have you shocked, like as in you'll go, <gasps> you know, and there'll be bits where you feel, you almost feel empowered. Yeah. No, because you're not an ape. But, oh, but I could be an ape. But, 
I don't know. I don't know what to describe it as. It's almost like it's just nice. Mm. You know, there's just nice moments. You mm. sit there and you go, "That was nice." I like that. Especially in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. That's a really, that's really good. Okay. I can't get over how good that. I'm gonna watch it after this now, because this is awesome. Um, Maybe but, should, they should be your picks for the future films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, would we have to go back and rewatch Rise though? No, maybe I could just watch that myself. Because yeah. I know the general bits. Yeah. You know the yeah. You know I know the basic. Because it, it like it, it killed the humans, didn't it? The the thing. Not really. It becomes a problem. It becomes like a yeah. It infects them, doesn't yeah, yeah. it? Because I know there was one of the other doctor guys that he got like sick of it, didn't he? Yeah. I remember that. It part. becomes a, it becomes a pandemic. Mm. Yeah. Um. So yeah, maybe you watch the first one because there is bits in the first one that, like, I need to know. that you need to know for the future ones. But James Frank wasn't in it. Yeah. Why isn't he in it? Never tells. Has been killed. Doesn't tell you. Been eaten by an ape. <laughs> no. That'd be gruesome. <laughs> being eaten by apes. I'm trying to think. Ripped apart by apes. Someone might get the hand bitten off. Oh. I can't remember if. I don't think they ever eat them. That's good. They eat deer. They live in the forest. They eat deer. Okay. Um, yeah, that's not your thing down in the comments. Like the video, subscribe, ding the bell, be notified when we upload. We upload every day. Also, Ooh, Christ on a bike. <laughs> sorry. Are you joking <laughs> me? <laughs> I couldn't help you on that. I don't know what's wrong with me. I genuinely just cacked myself. Continue. Oh, God. I couldn't help it. I tried to contain it, but it just got the better of me. Also. Continue. Tell some more lies to Katie down in the comments. No, I don't want to encourage uh, lying. That's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Truth. Untruths. No. Do the do the three truths and a lie. No. <laughs> oh no, wait, is it three lies and a truth? Yeah, that one. Three lies and a truth. No. Do it that way instead of the other way. Why? Because it'd be funny. No. <laughs> no, because it's gonna be like outlandish things that I'm just not gonna be able to guess it ever. Because I'm yeah. rubbish. Yeah, it'll be fun. No, because I'm already rubbish. You don't have to tell me. And anything else you want to say. Why would you tell me that you lied about things? You could have just not told me that you lied and I wouldn't have ever known until I watched them. Now I'm going to be like like awake at night going, what, what was he lying about? What did he say that it was wrong? What did you say that's wrong? You didn't, you didn't... I'm not telling you. Maybe Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is actually the worst one. No. Anyway, thank you for watching. I need to know